Welcome back everyone. I'm here answering a question that you guys had for me and that is why did I choose a three quarter hole size for the new fireball table system? But before I tell you exactly why, I wanna give you a little demonstration and show you what's available on the market today. And let's talk a hole size. On the market, you have two common size holes that are kind of prominent. You have the 5 8 or 16 millimeter hole and then you have the extra large 28 millimeter hole. Now the benefit of each of these is a little bit different. The 5 8 holes give you a two inch hole center. Most tables give you uh, that spacing. The 28 millimeter holes generally space it out a much longer distance, closer to four inches. So automatically you're gonna get more holes on a 5 8 grid pattern than you do the system 28. At a trade off of strength, which means the 5 8 pin that goes into that hole is much smaller in diameter. It's a little weaker. It doesn't have nearly as much shear force as the 28. Also the clamps that go into the hole have this really small pin. So therefore your clamping pressure is gonna be much lower. Generally, I would not choose a 5 8 hole table if you're doing some heavy weldments or need to stretch or push material at all. These little clamps and the tooling is just not capable of doing that. This pin, these pins will bend. And then when you look at the fixtures, the fixtures are also much thinner. This is a 3 8 thickness, and most table tops are also this thin. So it's generally considered a lightweight table. Now the other choice when you go to buy a table is to go to the 28, right? So now what you're jumping into is something much thicker. This is a one inch thick fixture, which is extremely strong, and I love that about it. Uh, but at a trade off that the hole spacings are much wider. Now I can count on this, especially with larger weldments. This is just gonna take some serious abuse. When you look at the clamp for the System 28, it's just much bigger than the 5 8 it's just heavy duty. It's designed just to be beat up in the production world. But like I said, at the trade off of that four inch grid pattern. So for me, I didn't know which one to choose. Do I choose the 5 8 table system or the 28 millimeter hole system? And I was really conflicted because they both do different things. This one can't get precision because of its grid pattern. This one's just too light duty. The fixtures like to bend. So I thought there should be something in between, something that could do the best of both. And that's where I came up with the three quarter. As you can see, when I fit it in my hand, it looks appropriate. It looks like it can do the best of both worlds. This has a cross-sectional area 50% larger than the 5 8 quite a bit smaller in diameter than the 28. But what I can do with this bolt is I can actually put it on the two inch grid pattern. So I get a better resolution of the holes which means more opportunities for clamps. I get the extra strength that I want to now make heavy duty fixtures. So I get the heavy duty fixtures that I wanted with the System 28, just like this one. And then a much bigger clamp like this to get my extra clamping force, but not overly excessive to where it's too heavy. You can see the difference in the two. It's really the Goldilocks of size. It slots perfectly in between for the person who can't decide on which table system to go with or knowing which projects he's gonna be doing in the future. So let's take a look at the fixtures themselves according to size. So the Build Pro is able to be much smaller, thinner, lighter. The System 28 is much thicker to accommodate that bigger bolt. The Fireball is much smaller so that it's gonna optimize your table space and that's because of that two inch grid pattern. So let me show you by example. The System 28, let me pull this over here, requires you to have this really, really long slot. And that's gonna allow you to go from hole to hole. So as you can see, the four inch hole spacing requires you to have a much longer gap so you could jump over to the next hole and do this leapfrogging event to slide this fixture where you need to go. So what you're really paying for is a lot more length, which is unfortunate. When you look at the two inch grid pattern, it's much nicer, you can grab the next hole over every time. It only requires you to move two inches. So I wanted to add that feature. When you combine all of that together, you get this, the best of both worlds. You get the two inch grid pattern with the heavy duty clamp. So let's look at prices. The System 28, this one right here, comes in at $146. This is the Fireball system. This is with the whole tooth block. This is a whole nother design. We'll go into this another day, but this one is $80. This is the Build Pro 5.8, and this is 
Now let's take a look at clamps. This is a pretty nice clamp, but it's fairly expensive at $104. This is the three quarter fireball clamp. This is 32 and this is the five eighths coming in at 25. And last but not least is one of the most expensive things you're going to need. And that is the bolts. This is the tool that needs to attach everything to the table. So the 28 ball lock bolt, this is $85. So you're probably going to need a minimum of 20 of these to be effective. The three quarter bolt, $30. The five eighths is 25. So the much extra strength, I think this is the best value out of everything. And this is why I wish this table existed when I was looking to buy something. So hopefully that answers all your questions that you guys had for me about the whole size. I know it's probably pretty hard to decide between the 5 8 and the 28 millimeter, but now you can choose something in between. So that's why I did it for myself and for you guys to give you guys the best bang for the buck. And I'm sure this is going to raise a lot more questions and I'd like to hear them down below and I'll catch you guys on the next one.